other people were injured during a mass shooting at a shopping mall that is across from the mass shooting at the Walmart there three years ago. Police say an off-duty officer at the mall took down the suspect within minutes of the shooting. Nate Griffin is live in the newsroom. Nate, is, is the officer okay? From what we understand, he is. They didn't say a whole lot about him in the press conference. And I listened to that press conference, was listening for more information about that. But this is what we do know. We do know that this happened yesterday and it just shocked the entire community of El Paso. And just take a look or a listen at this sound uh, from yesterday. <laughs> That was the sound yesterday from that shooting. Police responded to the shots fired in the food court of Cielo Vista Mall there in El Paso. When they arrived, one person was dead. Three others were hurt at that mall. Two suspects, we understand, are in custody as this investigation continues. Police believe there may be another suspect on the run. Now, authorities say there was an off-duty police officer working security at a store in the mall who helped to bring down one of the suspects. Three years ago, a person with a gun entered a Walmart in El Paso and killed 23 people. And while officials are in disbelief, the local FBI office is assisting with the website to help gather information from people to help with the investigation. It's important that, as this is an ongoing investigation, that we get that information as soon as possible. Uh, so I'm going to give everybody uh, that site uh, for people to upload any photos or any video that they may have from in the mall. So that site is going to be www. Dot FBI dot gov forward slash Sierra Vista mall shooting. Now on social media, this tweet coming from Beto O'Rourke in his hometown of El Paso. The shooting of Cielo Vista is painful for El Paso, especially the families of those killed at that nearby Walmart in 2019. I don't know the details yet, but what I do know is that I love this town and I will do everything I can to stop this from happening again. And this from Texas Governor Greg Abbott. I spoke with Mayor Lisa, Lisa rather, about the shooting tonight in El Paso. I offered the full support of the state of Texas, including the assistance of the Texas Department of Public Safety and Texas Division of Emergency Management to help the city of El Paso respond to this tragic event. Of course, uh, it is very tragic. Again, this is an ongoing investigation. Of course, we'll keep you up to date. We're live in the newsroom. Nate Griffin, Fox 26 Morning News.